Elena, uh, probably you will definitely agree with me that COVID-19 context has stressed the value and the weight of uh, the state program produced in Georgia, which has been a key one in terms of access to finance to different range of companies to this day as well. But today we hear that front office of these programs will be changing and we see in figures that its budget amounts up to half a billion Georgian Lari, quite a big chunk of taxpayers' money. Georgi, it's definitely hard to disagree here, more so that at this stage, producing Georgia has to say no to its main principle to opt out from the businesses that have already utilized the potential of taxpayer support and can be fully sustainable on their own. This on the one hand shows that all types of businesses are affected by pandemic and on the other raises the main question whether or not COVID-19 leads to more state involvement and state grip, so to say. Send uh, Mikhail Hidurelli will answer all our questions questions and provide all the necessary figures for us and for our viewers to decide if the program works or not. He is one of the first guests we have hosted in our premises in English. And let me say that it worked quite well. Many thanks for your time. Uh, you just uh, had the meeting with the biggest business association in Georgia uh, uh, and you updated with some uh, news regards producing Georgia. I mean, a uh, program you're working on about six months probably already or five, whatever. So, uh, uh, what's the feedback from business community? Thank you, first of all, thank you to have the privilege the to be guest, the yeah. first <laughs> interviewee yeah. in your English uh, program. Yes, we met with BAG. We are starting the process of meeting with all the entrepreneurs with the maximum courage. The first one was BAG. All the community. All the communities in all the regions, both micro grant, sorry, micro beneficiaries, micro entrepreneurs, SMEs, and big businesses as well. Because at the end of the day, for us, it's important to have any kind of economic activity that can be created right now. And our programs are designed in a way that we uh, give access to different segment of entrepreneurs. So from 500 Georgian Lari to 10 million Georgian Lari, we have different programs. Right? We have subsidies. We have uh, credit guarantee scheme, we have micro grants program, which are absolutely different financial mechanism uh, with the cooperation with big businesses. Uh, we think that uh, local investments will be stimulated. You know that our agency's main goal is to be, um, is an investment promotion agency. So we are attracting a lot of FDIs. But for us, uh, local investment is no less important than the FDI. So we are starting to build up the pipeline of local investment projects. And right now we have more than 110 Georgian, 10 million Georgian Lari portfolio with different uh, uh, projects like hotels, manufacturing, gloves. In this regard, do like you this. plan just to spread the meetings, not to, to localize within the capital? Um, I mean, do you schedule your further meetings among mm, business community within the regions? The first region that we will start uh, having this big presentation of the processes and the programs will be Achara region and then after that we will weekly on uh, week by week we will cover all the regions and I hope that first of all uh, all beneficiaries if not all a big majority of beneficiaries will find out that now it's the right time to take a step mm -hmm. and to generate your business idea and to let's say transform your business idea into a business plan. What will be some news you will be bringing to the to the table mm -hmm. Uh, to these businesses that you are meeting? First of all, we have upgraded our current programs. You know that we have uh, decreased the minimal amount of the loan that you can get with which we have this subsidy. For example, before it was 150,000, now it's 50,000, which means that an entrepreneur from now on can get a 50,000 loan, which is quite low. Mm -hmm. And we also increased the maximum cap. It will be 10 million. Uh, and we have also uh, prolonged the duration of the loan subsidy. So if before it was 24 months, now it will be 36 months. And I think that in a post-pandemic period, three years will be, uh, let's say, sustainable enough for a for a project to be uh, continuing on their own. Is that a uh, COVID effect yes. or do you think to Definitely. sustain? We are talking about the anti-crisis plan now and we are talking about the Enterprise Georgia's role in anti-crisis plan. Mm -hmm. So the upgrades that we have are mostly related to post-pandemic period. Of course, there is another uh, strategy, a uh, post-crisis post strategy, which also will be announced by the government and there as well. 
uh, Enterprise Georgia with its Invest in Georgia div division will be also one of the leading roles. The role of the banks within the uh, upgraded, uh, updated uh, program is still uh, some point of views uh, still come up whether produce in Georgia was for some beneficiaries, let me say so. Now it's, uh, the, the picture is broadened, it's been expanded. Can we uh, consider that uh, it will cover all, 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 all the potential uh, promising spheres mm -hmm. in Georgia or also those who really need help within the liquidity and other financial uh, problems what do we face right now? By, by, by the end of 2019, we did a reform where we opted out from the projects and from the sectors where we saw that government subsidy is not needed anymore uh -huh. because there is uh, enough level of sophistication in the companies and companies can do it themselves. But now post pandemic we have expanded it again uh -huh. because we need more economic impact and impulse. Um, uh, regarding the coverage, our agencies programs were always around SMEs. The companies with more than 20 million Georgian Larry revenue cannot enroll in our programs. What we did, I think uh, we, st we are staying as SME, but we have opened up for a smaller SMEs, which is a 50,000 Georgian Larry. And I think right now uh, with a credit guarantee scheme, which is important because companies, there are a lot of entrepreneurs who have great ideas. They have basic revenues as well, but they don't have enough collateral. So credit guarantee scheme with these new upgrades, I'm sure will be one of the biggest drivers of the SME sector in Georgia. And we also heard from the Prime Minister that there will be some changes to the uh, front mm -hmm. office uh, mm -hmm. of the program in one stop shop that you will be kind of like uh, rooting out the, the, the bureaucracy and lack of information that might uh, businesses have what's uh, that's, uh, that's a really nice question because one of the uh, latest improvements that we're doing right now is to provide one-stop shop services for all government uh, business uh, and not just business services, tourism sector as well. So we will be incorporating all these uh, government services uh, in uh, community centers which are present in almost in big majority villages. So entrepreneurs can go physically in the center, community center, they can get a physical, uh, let's say, consultation from the consultant who will be trained on all the projects. And if they don't want to go there physically, they, there will be an online platform which will allow to process and get the information on all the projects that are running right now. Sort of prototype of Justice House. Justice House, but in business. In it's, uh, we can say that it is um, a small type of business house. The idea is that you should be receiving all the services in one place. While uh, being in a preparation for this interview, me and Elena, we also had some feedbacks from various taxpayers about some concerns or different uh, point of views regarding taxpayers' money, mm -hmm. which is allocated nearly half a billion due to pandemic and mm -hmm. this uh, situation what do we face right now. But do they have a proper understanding that uh, more than 300 million Georgian Lari. 330, yeah. More 330, than. correct. Uh, 330 is, uh, uh, is not cash itself. Yes, it's cash based, but uh, it will be in cash. Uh, and this is a scenario what I really don't want to talk about. While bankruptcy, the bankruptcy the company, or things like that happening, which uh, yeah. will be a very small percentage. Is it finally, Misha, settled within the banks yes. because uh, there were some concerns, there were some questions, we don't know still how it's working. Is it clear for all the 15 banks and all the banks going to be participating within yes. this scheme or not? Yes, uh, all the banks will be participating, all the microfinancing organizations will well, be participating. Well, yeah, we have well, added that one. So I think it's crystal clear. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, most of the banks, all the banks, uh, already have a protocol of the program, which is, has been disseminated guideline. down, guidelines, from internal from guidelines yeah, for whatever, the credit officers. Yeah. So this is disseminated on all levels. Mm -hmm. So any beneficiary who, and an entrepreneur, potential entrepreneur who will come to the bank will get the, uh, will, will start the process. Uh, agreements are signed with all banks, uh, decrees there. Uh, and I know that in parallel of how we, what we talk right now, there are some specific projects processing already mm -hmm. oh. on the on, on, on the different more, sectors yeah on the, on the more um, broader level so to say we um, hear that uh, 
about these new contours of the uh, renewed investment stra uh, strategy. And what we know uh, so far I um, is like two uh, directions. One is uh, um, one is uh, focusing on um, uh, local enterprises, and the other is uh, um, reallocation and um, um, uh, due to the supply chains and changes. We heard some strange mm -hmm. wording and phrases in that regard. For example, substituting imports. Uh, will that be your focus? Mm -hmm. Are you giving up on uh, helping exports? <laughs> no, our uh, that, that's um, I think the, the, this type of uh, topics already um, gives rise to a lot of big space of speculation. So that's why it's always important that we have a communication with the public. Our agencies equally important. Two main goals are uh, decreasing the reliance on the import and export promotion. Uh, we have cases where companies started a uh, factory producing goods which were substituting import and then they started to export because they expanded on Georgia already. So like, the co I mean, having one as a priority or another one, I think it's very wrong. Uh, it's a business model. You uh, are a business person and you decide to produce good for Georgian market or to produce good on export market. We uh, do not prioritize between these two. Uh, the best scenario is that it's both. We call it uh, decreasing the reliance on the uh, import and I think it's important we have to agree that during pandemic uh, I think we all saw that the role of the government is crucial yeah. uh, uh, you saw cases where government with the prior, prior uh, with the private sector has started to produce masks to produce face shields to produce gloves uh, and a lot of material that was very very crucial in the moment so I think uh, government involvement where uh, business needs, uh, let's say, government involvement with the stimulation. Uh, I think it's remarkable, and uh, yeah. you but know that the economic impact of yeah. the. You, we have to always count the economic impact. Sure, sure, sure. And let's uh, count it because you have already uh, mm -hmm. counted that. But um, I just want to say that we also remember um, uh, Ronald Reagan's quote as well: "I am government, and I am here <laughs> to, to help." help you, the scariest, <laughs> is the scariest, which is the scariest sentence. <laughs> which is the scariest. Yeah. So we have to. Yeah. I mean, we have to <laughs> count with numbers. The, yeah. the only way to, uh, let's say, eliminate the speculation or to tackle with the speculation is to talk in numbers. Okay, and, and this let's is what do we it, always right? do. Right, Georgi? Let's, let's do, do it. Do it. President okay. Reagan, he was lucky in various scenarios and various cases, but he was lucky enough not to be a part of this pandemic. Yes. Which still goes on. Yeah, that was we, we st it's still nothing is clear. Yeah. But it's not clear for the government as well. <laughs> yes, it's not yeah. clear for <laughs> everybody. Yeah, but for it everyone. is reacting in a uh, speedy manner. And that was important. And we have to all agree, like eliminating all the political, let's say, bias, uh, of effective, effectiveness of the government in tackling the coronavirus was crucial. Of course, and it is. Then we are talking and, freely and the now. The world is yes, talking I think, about it. So I so. think um, uh, government, uh, let's say, support for the SMEs, if it is effective, is not even good. It's necessary for the okay, type of economy that we are. Is it effective? What did you say? Okay, uh, it's very effective. Uh, first of all, only three parameters to be, uh, let's say, to be very simple and precise. Uh, so every single lorry that Georgian government, the enterprise Georgia, has subsidized the loan of the SMEs have gained five, five times more uh, with the taxation back to the budget. Every single lorry created uh, eight lorry uh, so GDP. So generate one to eight? One to eight. One lorry generated eight, eight GDP. GDP. Yeah. Oh, eight. And one lorry generating 16 times more investment from the private sector, which means that I gave you one lorry and then you invested additionally 16 lorry. I mean, it's, it's very simple to count like this. And we are talking about only 100 companies that we have surveyed because there was a logical time two years passed after their operation. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, let's say, 350 times, sorry, 250 times more factories and projects funded, which has not been analyzed thoroughly. We have an uh, analysis and monitoring department in the agency, very qualified staff there, and uh, we'll be monitoring and, uh, let's say, analyzing uh, the another bunch of 100 companies and we'll share it for you.